And there we go again. It's game number two here. Balkan Bears versus frequently winning team in the Division 2 of the joint Dota League. Quite a surprise that Balkan Bears have time at the moment because as far as I know there are some qualifiers for some other tournaments but apparently they found it. Either way, you're here on Hefla TV 2 on Twitch. Yeah, we wanted to come back to Twitch for a bit streaming here and there but in about one hour you still have um, on our first hitbox channel like um, the BUC, B-U-C-E free uh, playing and of course on Hefla TV 1 you still have Denial vs Moscow 5, the international team. Also quite interesting team to watch to be honest just for the fact that it's a new roster and pretty much Screen Squad reunited sort of. Either way, but we're gonna focus here on our game. My name is Hefla Moog. Yes, I know you don't hear me that often but today you actually hear me with someone else. A female caster, someone I really like, someone I met on the DreamHack and the first game, it was also the first cast and let's see how the second one goes. For me it was a ton of fun and here we go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Again. <laughs> okay, we seem to be starting with some very um, confident picks. We have a Skyrock and a member Spirit as first picks for Welcome Bears, which is uh, very nice for me to see. I have, I've actually seen it last night in Dream League. For for ASC, it was just the same. Well, ob obviously the Skyrath mage is. I'm not gonna say necessary pick when you do have an Ember Spirit, but it's definitely helpful. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's quite a surprise that you picked the Ember Spirit that early because right uh, right now the answer comes like a Doom, and that's always bad news on the Ember Spirit. That means you can't really engage before the Doom is out, or you have to go for Lincolns and stuff like that. I don't really like it, so showing or giving away that you have an Ember Spirit, I don't know. I don't think it's really worth it as a second one. But Balkan Best, they, obviously they have a good drafter and we will see. Maybe this is really just a giveaway, forcing them into something to counter the Ember Spirit and then they come up with something else uh, as another replacement core, sort of. Either way, the bans are pretty obvious. I mean, Brewmaster again as well as the Prophet and we have the Ogre Magi as well as Haki's uh, Titan on the other side. They don't want to have those two. They really roamed in that offlane. It was a bad experience for a frequently winning team. And now we have the second rotation. Uh, plus, I think BBC are pretty confident right now after the previous match. What did it end with? 16 to 3? Yeah, pretty much. Around, I mean, that, you, around that. I don't want to call it a steamroll because, like, the draft and everything, it looked good. The only thing that really, I think, broke their neck was that mid lane. Like, we completely free farming against a Centaur or a Magnus. I mean, both would have been options for the mid, but none of them could have done anything against the TA, so the TA was something that completely crossed, I don't know, crossed their draft. That was not a good idea. Either way, second bun rotation is through. We have the Morphling as well as the Dusa, so they're already focusing on other cores. And on the other side, we have Meepo's, <laughs> Wii's Meepo being banned out as well as the Battle Initiation. And now it's getting interesting because I want to see what Balkan Bears is going to pick up now. It's a shame that last game ended so quickly. Um, the GG was, uh, was set out right in the middle of an engagement. I'm I'm thinking that maybe the the team had a disagreement. That's why they decided to end the game early in order to not tire themselves, because they didn't feel they were gaining anything oh, or there we go. whatever. They, oh, Something. oh, I know this. It's an offline legion commander, if I'm not mistaken. I've offline seen legion it. commander. Yeah, I think so. they, I've only seen it played on offline by BBC. But okay. It, yeah, it's normally hockey playing it. But, but it puts I might even be wrong. more pressure than on the Ember Spirit, that's kind of the problem. If the Ember Spirit doesn't work out, the Legion Commander, well, let's see how much XP he can crap in the offlane if he's getting ganked or not. I mean, it's a hard target to gank, especially if you have someone around with you. We have seen Balkan Bass actually going for dual lanes already, even though that's not their main strategy. But let's see, we get a Wraith King on frequently winning team, which I definitely like. It's a hero that can go, of course, in both roles, as a core or as a support. Now that we have a Doom... And the Wraith King, well, we're still not any smarter. This could be either way. I don't know what to say about the Wraith King, to be honest. True, it's the kind of if you play it as a support, it's the kind of support that can later transition into an initi initi <laughs> initiator or actually a semi carry. But it's. On a try lane at least. Yeah, if they go for the dual lanes. But they, we haven't seen them do that. We've seen BBC do that, which I kind of like. 
I kind of like dual lanes. Recently, I've seen them so much. Um, depends on your lineup, of course. But for example, I've seen them being done with when you have when you have a wisp Crazy. instead of the jungler alternative. Yeah. Okay, we have a razor right now. That's, okay, so it's definitely. But that supports your theory of the offlane leeching commander. So this is gonna yeah. be Ember Spirit safe lane. And the Razor mid, that would be my assumption. I mean, in theory, they could swap it around because so far there's nothing on frequently winning team that is actually scaring off either. The Scarab Mage, well, you can support in lane or rotate. I definitely like it. For frequently winning team, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna assume we're gonna see another core. If that, that Rave King for now looks to me like a support Rave King, that's at least what I'm going with right now. The Doom in the offline, Shakira Rave King plus mid plus. Uh, what we're gonna get on the offlane as a core, and I like it. I mean, it's a it's a pretty tanky strategy, so I definitely like it. BBC has, in my opinion, such a greedy lineup right now. Well, yeah, it it kind of depends what. <laughs> I mean, it works. <laughs> it works out really well with Legion Commander and Skyrath Mage, I guess. Still ulting on him, free damage, but still, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Well, the Ember Spirit, I'm if done. the Ember Spirit farm fails, then the Leeching Commander won't find into the game as well, because they need the damage on the duels. Right now, they, the best synergy between Leeching Commander, or bec between anyone and Leeching Commander, is obviously the Skyrath Mage. So, you find your duel, and the Skyrath Mage is just tagging along for a drive-by shooting, get that Mystic Flare up, and that should be almost a guaranteed kill on anyone. The good thing is, obviously, you're gonna get your winning damage, even if you go, go on the Wraith King, so he might come back from it, but you still got damage, and that's what you want overall. The Razor is gonna get his damage in fights, and so far he got, well, some nice targets right there, because all of them are relatively slow, except for the Doom when he pops Scorched Earth. What I didn't expect is now a Shadow Demon coming out, because that puts the Wraith King into actually a farming role, and we're gonna get a mid, unless I'm completely retarded, and we're gonna get the offlaner, and they put the Doom in mid or something. As I said, it's a completely new team, it's a Division 2 team, surprises are always there for us. So far, the Doom is probably offlane. Shadow Demon Jakiro uh, supports Wraith King on safe farm, and we're still expecting a mid. But I really like the Shadow Demon uh, pick. It's perfect for the it's duel. It's nice for against example. the Legion Commander. It's it's a perfect yeah, combination. The only the only bad thing is obviously against Razor. It's not so good if you if you disrupt the yeah. target right after he's already starting to leech damage, then you're pretty much screwed because by the time you come out of that disruption, you don't have any damage left, and the Razor is just a machine. <sighs> just munching you down. We have the last bands coming out. It's a Viper as well as the ET. And let's see where this one is going because like I didn't expect those those last bands. I didn't see any of them actually coming out. But for frequently winning team we still need a mid and for Balkan Bears we still need a support. Anything would just suffice. Like right now I could even see a support necro or anything fancy coming out. Like they already picked that greedy, why not go in for more? <laughs> necro really? Ah, it would work out very well, but um, so if it's going to be an Ember Spirit safe lane, they need, huh, what I'm thinking, what would go well with this right now? Well, any anything could, I mean, I understand the ET, that would have been decent because we have tons of damage that would actually be amplified, I mean, that would have been Plasma Witch Field, Doctor. that would have been... Uh, say the overwhelming odds, the Ember Spirit chains, and of course everything that comes from the Scarab Mage. But a Witch Dog will just do the trick. So we have a healing source right now. We have the Death Ward, some bounces for additional stun, and maybe I saw it on Balkan Bells already. They even go for a Maledic build, even though in this game I think we're gonna see Lina. really Cask Voodoo Restoration coming out. And whoa, Ooh. whoa, whoa! Lena, that is a surprise. That is <laughs> complete surprise. You see Lena being played so little these days. Um. And for good purpose, but I kind of like this in a way. It's very risky. Like, what's Lena gonna do? Hmm. It's it's a bit too risky it's for me. for my taste because right now I just see Ember Spirit with the Flame Guard up, so she won't get kills there. Like her potential targets are obviously Sky of Mage, Witch Dog for a fast burst down. But for Legion Commander, Ember Spirit, and Razor, like as soon as this game is entering like mid game, we talk about 15 to 25 minutes, something around that time frame. I just don't see this Lina getting anything if she's like for example played in mid. Because that who's going offline if she's not mid? This is on Real Divine and if I remember he was the wait, real yeah, he was the mid player on the center last game. So this is but Nova is also 
Neville was um, a Magnus going safe lane. Oh, yeah, wow. I'm, I'm not quite sure they stick to their lanes as we saw at last game, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to introduce the guys for all those viewers who just joined. We have Titsuro from A8. So Chikiri it is Nova. He was the Magnus player last time. He was actually the sort of the best player on the team because he at least managed to get his Blink Dagger, but it wasn't really in time. <laughs> Let's see where he's going right now. Maybe a Blink Dagger is also something he wants to go for because he wants to catch that Ember Spirit. So we have the Doom on him. Real Divine is now on the Lina. The hero They're going that is aggressive again. It seems like it. But yeah, he's on okay. the Lina. We have Jindu Yun on the Shadow Demon and Killer. The one who did amazing armlet toggling actually. So I'm looking forward for another armlet here in this game. We have him <laughs> in an aggressive trial and on the Rave King. And on the side of BBC. Yep, it's just uh, just like I thought. It's gonna be hockey on the Legion Commander, but it's not gonna be. Is it gonna be a solo offlane? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be on a solo offlane. Adrenia on the Ember Spirit, not something you see very often. Uh, Solitude on the Scarath Mage. Uh, Weeha on the Razor mid. Yep, probably. And Levy on the Witch Doctor. Yep, that's pretty much our setup here. And none of them are really going aggressive at the moment. Like, we hear the horn, but nothing really happened. None of them dare to go forward anywhere. So it's aggressive versus aggressive in the mid. Well, Lina against Razor. This is going to be very interesting, I have to say. We on the Razor. This is also a long time I've seen this one actually happening. But let's see. What do you say? Doom versus the Legion Commander. Who's going to come out as a winner on this lane? Um, I'm gonna say the Doom simply because Devour and the freedom to take creeps from the jungle, like he can get extra attack speed, extra damage, or as, but I'm not sure. I'm just, I was looking at uh, the top lane where BBC already placed the sentry ward, <laughs> right where they expect the, the observer to be, and now. They're gonna already de yep. deward it. That's some easy deward here by Solitude, <laughs> so that's of course a small disadvantage already because they have no idea what's actually coming from the side there. Also, Killer, well, he has the problem that there's always the Witch Dog as well as the Scarab Mage, but Solitude at the moment he's not putting his Arcane Bolts into anything, he's busy just stacking, so Balkan Bear is interested in going for the double poles potentially there. But let's see. I mean, Jindo, he's not coming in for the harass, which is quite a surprise. But at least we have the liquid fire on Wii. So the harass level is kind of the same on both teams. We have to see who's then coming out on the winner. But again, my prediction is first blood is going to be in that offlane. But we were wrong last time, so <laughs> let's see. I didn't make any predictions last time. Oh, well, I, I was wrong. Well, actually, it did happen, but it did happen in a 2-3 situation where I didn't expect it at all. But for now, they're just going to argue about who's going to get more CS of that side pull. In the end, it's just going to be more XP denied than actually CS stolen, and they can go for another pull. So, Pachinho is going to find some farm. He's already 5-0, which is probably double what he had last time on the Spectre. There, they denied him way, way better. I'm looking at the bottom lane right now. Uh, yeah, I think they're pretty, pretty well matched up. The uh, uh, Legion Commander and the Doom. They're actually almost at the exact same CS. They don't have any problems there. Yeah. On the tri lane, Tadrin is doing very fine. He's not getting harassed a lot, actually. They do have a Jakiro. Not much they can do with Shadow Demon, I guess. And we have actually the, the Luna is just getting that regeneration rune bottom, which is nice for her because she can actually spam out everything. But we, it was way, way faster. I mean, both of them start with the 295 MS, but he was just already predicting, or oh, what means predicting. I mean, everybody knows the rune is coming, but he was just there in position. So right now we have the Lina on 7 2 and the Razor on 6 and 2. I actually thought we took over already the lane, but no, nope, it's not happening. But oh, top already, we have to go. Killer is pretty low. There's the stun. It's gonna bounce even maybe one more time. And that's our first blood. It's actually Wraith King going down. And if we have more chains, this is really bad news for Jindu Yun. That Ice Path is buying some time. But yeah, in the end, it will be enough. BBC got what they came for. They got the first blood on the most important target to kill. Actually, Pedrini is getting ridiculous uh, farm for an aggressive tri lane on behalf of the frequently winning team. <laughs> yep, he's also playing pretty aggressive. I mean, he's just taken that liquid fire like a man. He's really just, yeah, not scared of it at all. The Lina in the mid, well, I definitely like it. She's spamming Wii at the moment, so we 
tries to be a bit careful and it's still like some battle he is at the moment not winning as he was on his TA last last game and when we look at the bottom lane well Doom versus Haki, Haki being super aggressive trying to get some hits here and there but as soon as Scorch Earth is popped he has to pretty much go back they're pretty much even it's 15 and 2 and 14 and 6 so everything's just fine here on that bottom lane I don't think any one of them can kill each other unless they ding level 6 or rotation is coming I'm surprised to see that Weeha is being a bit passive it's not familiar for me to see him being so passive like it's just Lena she has 600 HP and his razor she doesn't have uh, that big move speed so um, the static link shouldn't be a problem for the razor I actually think they have the exact same move speed yep yep but still it's, it's a bit surprising to see him being well the problem is that Lena look at this combination she was trying to to do the combination here but it doesn't really work out if you don't hit it the light striker a plus the dragon slave it's a ton of damage if you actually hit it but we oh he wants to go across now he, he knows used it. he knows yeah. she doesn't have any mana he well she has mana for in. at least one thing but that's maybe just a stun and she needs more mana to actually go for the combination but let's see, top, oh we have actually go here on the witch talk, he's disrupted, but the silence is not coming through because Killer, oh my god, Killer is going so fast down, he's not Ooh. even close to anything and the Voodoo Restoration just heals him up, but we know it's going to follow here, Citro and all that flame guard damage, it's going into Citro. I don't think he has any chance, and I think Shadow Demon, you're the best if you just run away from this massacre, and that's exactly what he's doing. I don't know what they try to achieve there, but they should get, obviously, the level 6 on their Wraith King first. Like, going for that kill, it was kind of a very brave and also stupid thing to do. <laughs> Maybe the, yeah. Uh, I didn't even see that part. Who did they try to go against? The witch I mean, was, was the, the opening part, but it was with the incoming creep wave. It was right next to the tower, even getting some hits from the neutral camp. And the silence on the follow-up uh, stun here on the Ray Fire Pass didn't come out. That was a really, really bad combination. And they knew this is this is coming but oh we there's a, a doom on Haki bottom. look at this we need some more damage on him that's a problem well amplify damage is gonna come out on him but it won't be enough that's yeah, two more done. ticks and then he can yeah. just use his bottles being back to lane problem with the doom is he has everything on cooldown no regeneration whatsoever so the doom actually has to go out of lane now I think uh, the Shadow Demon is going to uh, stick around yeah, but we, for some extra But going to cut in here and this is an easy kill here. Plasma Field being used. He's even trying to steal some damage before. Maybe he wants to save the mana in the end. He still has to use it but it's an easy kill. Well that was kind of too obvious and it, again it comes down to not having wards in that bottom lane. Again we have no vision for FWT and that is an easy rotation for Weeha. The Lina... Report Lina for not saying Ms. Mid. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to their second ward though? Oh no, it's six minutes in. Yeah. The first one the was dewarded, and the other one, I don't know where it just disappeared expired. as well. So no, I, I just it expired assume. six minutes in. Oh, but there's Seven a go here on the Ember Spirit. He's stunned, second time stunned. The Doom is coming in, but well, he has no mana. They can f still follow up, but they need a second stun. But by that, by that, blah, blah, blah. by that time, he would be under the tier two tower again. A rotation that is just not working out. Now yeah, the Doom is in the top lane and there's nothing else to get for him. Without the Doom, there wasn't much he could do. Maybe they should have waited out the Doom cooldown. They're trying to go again on Padrino this time. Oh, this time it might be enough, but there's a Remnant. He, he Remnant. just Remnant out, and now it's Levy's turn to get some XP in the lane. I'm just wondering when the Lina is going to rotate the first time, because she's level again. 7, we have the Laguna Blade right now, so why not using it? Any target of the support would... yeah. Just again, melt down. again on top, they they hurried. They just got the doom right after the they tried to kill Padrino. It would have been a definite kill if they would have waited just for the doom. But he does have it now, and he's moving towards the, the middle lane. But in the mid lane, there's potentially nothing they can actually get unless we have Laguna play plus Doom coming together. But at the moment, Real Divine, I think he wants to fish. Oh, there's the oh, stun, and we okay. have the Laguna Blade and the Doom. Is there any deny? He's trying to run towards his friend, but nope, he's going <laughs> down before. That's the first kill for FWT. So and the first time we see Laguna play this game. There's finally. two ultimates used for that one kill, but they finally do get it, and the kill goes to Doom, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, he got the last tick there. Mm, he did get almost 500 HP from that kill. Not that much though, even though... Razor... Hmm. 
No, he's not. He's not actually the first on net worth. I was expecting him to, but no. We actually have two people from a uh, frequently winning team yep. as top net worth on, uh, on the charts. Lina didn't leave her lane, so that explained at least her net worth. She was involved in just that kill and the doom. Well, I'm surprised because and he she died was also, before. She, she was also ball crowing. She was very, very intent on staying on the lane. Yeah. But the Doom, I mean, he died once before, but then again, he has the Vow, which he can work with. Killer now joined the bottom lane, because top, that's just not for him at the moment. He still misses some CS, though. Cicero, well, it's his turn to grab some XP since he's solo here, but you he also gotta be careful. I think the Skyrath Mage on level 4 and the Chains of Patrino, that would be enough for easy kill. If they silence him, there's no Ice Path, no nothing. He's going down before anything else is happening, so... Let's see, 10 minute runes is about to spawn in, well, 40 seconds, but he's already there. Ice Path Actually. isn't actually the best def defensive um, ability, simply because it's not a reliable stun. And you can easily juke the Ice Path, so yeah. So let's see in the mid. Oh, they want to go here. He's already slowed. Does he do anything? Does he cast anything? Oh, he's getting silenced Didn't right stuff. away. There's a maledict on him as well. Ooh. Well, he's getting disrupted. I don't think it's going to help him. If there is, yeah, another arcane bolt flying through. Solitude, however. Oh, there he's getting doom. And the doom, well, he's not going to get... Oh, he's going to get a right click in there. That should do the trick, but he's going to get the knight if Levy times yes. it right. And there we go. The he knight. had two teammates running to him just to die. So he's, <laughs> I mean, funny. that's that's exactly what you what you want to do. The Doom was like really greedy, wanted to get that one kill. In the end, the only thing you really achieve is giving him an easy ticket way home. He's losing some gold, but there's no XP out of it. Makes it not really worth it. Then again, Doom, it's a relatively short In cooldown. the meantime, our Legion Commander hasn't left her lane and very close to a blink right now. That would be probably going to be in a uh, minute 11 blink. She's yeah. doing very well on farm. And the Rave King is and not level 6 yet. He's gonna ding level 6 soon, but at the moment they don't know how far he's into it. If Levy rotates in there, the funny thing is that the farming Rave King is on the same level as the Witch Dog. We We're gonna have engagement here rotations. in that bottom lane. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, is there a disruption? No, silence and everything already coming out. The duel won't get through. Killer is still not level 6. He needs another one. Maladic on 2. But, well, Levy is going down. There's a duel finally, but he's level 6 without the mana for it. He had 11 stick charges. He didn't get to use it, so they're down. Three versus two. The Lina is actually rotating in. We have to see Laguna play is up. So if they want to get a kill, they have to get it now. No doom. 20 seconds. What a nice stun. Ice path. Both Laguna play. That's an easy kill on Haki. But so far, Petrino is still standing and still going. In the end, I think both teams retreat here. But at least they get some sort of consolidation price here. That kill on Haki, he was level 8. It was definitely worth it. The only thing that is not in their favor is that we is all the time farming. He did manage to get his blink before though. So we do have a blink Legion Commander from now on, which is pretty scary for uh, for the Radiant team. Absolutely. Like now we have the initiation they were looking for and they have enough burst, especially with the Witch Dog for example almost being level 6. He just needs to go anywhere. Like maybe he's gonna stack Ancients right now. Yeah, that's what he's doing. And if there's anyone coming by killing those or he's somewhere in lane and that's pretty much all he needs. The only good thing is the Rave King, well, he still has his ultimate since he didn't get to use his stick because of Haki's duel. So next time we have an engagement, maybe that's working out. But for now, Haki again, duel, and it's on the poor Shadow Demon. They don't even need the ultimate. It's not gonna be oh. a win. Whoa, they were hesitating like there. Split second away from getting the damage as well. But who cares? It's a kill. 13 seconds out for the Shadow Demon, and of course, nice XP. Another we kill on the table. But in the mid. Here in mid? Oh, invisibility rune again. We having just a perfect rune to get away from this. There's no vision, no nothing. And Alina, well, she gotta be careful. She's running towards a rune, which is not there. Now he's discovering, okay, no rune. We, oh, ultimate on, but instant blink out. He should have probably tacked her first, but let's see. We have a side rotation here. Haki, 10 seconds on the ultimate. Killer, well, it's not a target you want to go for. And he needs support to actually make that kill happen. It seems like I'm just gonna go back to farming right now. And let's see, bottom. Well, we have the Chakira alone there. Haki could jump in. There is the Witch Dog now, level 6. So, for the duel, if they want to, yes, they have the Death Ward and it's already channeling. That's it's an easy kill, winner, the second duel. And now he's so close to level 11, so next time he's gonna get even more. The Doom top, he didn't get the Doom off on Petrino. That was their only chance to get a kill on him. 
And Pacino, he's not even going for Lincolns or anything like that. He just goes for a standard build because that Doom is everything but scary so far. Do you think they're going to try and push tier 1 bottom right now? They seem to be converging on it. Well, there's there's no one who actually can rotate in because the others, they rotate the top. They even use the TP for it. Well, the TP would be ready on the supports, but they would be TPing directly into almost a new duel on Haki. So, that tier 1 tower is pretty much gone. And Pacino? Well, he's farming in the jungle, but he has to be careful. There's two people on the way. Actually, no, they're just stacking. So I, I wish we could see some, some aggression out of the Austrian team here because especially Petrina would be such an easy kill. Once you doom him, that's an easy one. Witch Dog, he actually got the last hit on the tower. So let's see, Urn is already finished. So far he's the one who's also buying walls and whatnot. But if he keeps on getting that gold, we're gonna see a Ghanem Scepter pretty much soon on him. But first, you're gonna see we have some sort of defense top. It's only Haki by now. But the others, they have their TP ready if they want to. In the meantime, Weha is chopping away at the middle tower by himself. He's probably gonna get it actually soon because there's four people for Radiant Team top. And it's not probably not the best exchange if he does manage to get the, mid the tower middle. Oh, okay, now someone is actually defending it. Well, there really? is, is Killer actually in, but I don't think he yeah. can really stop it. The tower is pretty low, and if we just get seen there, some hits in there. They're gonna trade in the end tower for tower. Tier 1 went down bottom, now we have a top for BBC going down. But the difference is that BBC is really spread out at the moment. They get experience in each and every lane. Haki is in the jungle. We have the Witch Dog pushing even Tier 2 tower because he doesn't have to fear anything. They have wards here in the mid. They have wards in the jungle. They see exactly when something's coming. Right now someone is actually coming and Lovey is just walking out there like nothing ever happened. In the mid, they know that BBC wants to go for that tower pretty much soon. So maybe we're gonna see a jump on Wii. The Doom would be ready. Pretty much everything is ready. And you're gonna defend this. It, it looks definitely like it, but, well, Levy, he keeps on stacking also Ancients, so, Balkan Bears, when it comes to farm... There's an initiation on Weeha. Oh, yeah, that was uh, a nice initiation. Mark. Actually, the stun is coming right after here. Killer going for some right clicks, the Laguna Blade making it really hard, so we is definitely going down. The question is, do we have more? There's a duel on Killer, and the Death Ward coming as well. He's going down, but he's coming back. He's doomed There's as well, so Haki, well, buy back on all the free remnants, killing everyone off. Oh, the deny the in all this battle, the deny is coming out defensive. Oh, yep, yeah, it was an aggressive disruption, but Patrino is still going for it. He wants to get Cicero, but there is the stun on Killer. Killer still has 15 charges on his stick. Now he's using it. He's stunned again, Patrino, but still, they don't get him down. He's just too tanky with those drums alone. In the end, they're still gonna get the kill. The Shadow Demon had too much poison on him. Doom, I don't know wh who he was really pursuing. But in the end, it was a free for one trade with the difference that is, well, the Legion Commander actually got the dual damage of the first ultimate of the Rave King. But that's pretty much it. So it's a free for one still. It's with funny a for me because that whole fight, I was actually watching the two supports of Falcon Bears trying to do battle with the Doom uh, together, and they didn't manage to get the kill. They only got into a third of his life. And actually, oh, we is coming in here on the Doom and Doom. Well, you're so that he's popping. Well, actually, he's he's getting quite some damage. But defensive disruption, beautifully done. And we, he wants to get that kill, but in the end, it doesn't really work out. He's getting out, and now we is the one who pursued. But oh, there's the duel here on Jindu, and we has so much damage, 140 stolen. That's an easy kill for them. Make it 48 damage. The question is now, is there more light strike array? It's not actually hitting, and oh, Delina is getting so much oh. damage. The end killer is just getting the stun up to throw some damage, but you don't want to be here. Look, we even getting healed up by press to attack and they have to run back. We's getting another set of nice damage here, 112 this time only. But is there more to come? The Doom is coming in. We have Doom up if he wants to, but Plinktech is not enough to ch yeah, charge them. Right now Haki is just hiding there. Levy, well, he's trying to disjoin it. It's not gonna work out. He's still stunned, but that's the end of the fight. Still, we just too tanky and them running in into a Razor with 140 damage stolen. That was a bad idea. Oh, but still, they want to go on Haki. <laughs> the Doom is actually coming through. Now they just have to pursue him. Scorched Earth is on. But let's see if he's actually having enough damage for this. There's no one else. And we have a rotation of Wii. The Razor is coming in. There's the Blink Dagger, the right click. Still, some seconds of that Doom. He might die. No, it's the third or fourth deny we have. And now Wii is following up on that Doom. 
84 and in damage, the meantime, 100 ultimate on, everything's on right now. And well, if he hits him, he's slow, but he doesn't even need to. He just needs to follow him with the ultimate, and that's, well, Skyrath Mage on a dominating streak already, even. I don't know what happened to the Radiant team that whole time. They lost the middle tower. They took fights not exactly when they had to, or needed to, or could. Like, they did have a Doom, but their middle tower was falling. They did have the Razor down there, uh, stealing a lot of damage. I don't know what happened there. The whole fight that happened on the bottom, like, well, in the Radiant jungle, half of it shouldn't have happened, in my opinion. Yeah, and it also comes down to all these, I mean, sure, the people are still dying with the Doom, but all these denies, you're gonna see that in the experience craft for sure, and right now we're looking at a 4k, 4.5k lead of BBC, and when it comes to gold 3k, it's actually less than I expected, but so far FWT, even though those misplays are coming out, or like, lack of judgment when it comes to those fights, they're still holding on. It's way better than game number one, so they kind of adjusted to BBC's playstyle. Then again, you said it in the draft already, they picked very greedy, so and it's working, there's still a lot it's to It's working come. out for them right now. Like, Over Kadrina's top, getting... We might see initiation here. For now, it's just some harass, but Alina can't really do anything. In the meantime, though, we have, again, oh. a kill on the Doom. That was an easy duel, and plus the Mystic Flare, now with a level 8 Skyrath Mage. So, let's Already see. 62 extra damage. Oh, but we, we find the Shadow Demon still soaking so much damage. We can be on. He's getting kill number one, and he's even doing more. They're blocking each other at the moment. Padrino is trying to join the fight. He still has remnants if he wants to. One to be exact. And he's trying to get on the Lina, but right clicks won't be enough. Still, they can go on the Shakira. Right now, they try to turn on Katrina, but Killer, he's gonna go down. 10 seconds on his ultimate. And he even the Death Ward coming out. It's a 4 for one trade. And the tier 2 tower in the bottom lane as well. This is really bad news. We are looking at the 8 and 17, a tier 1 tower to fall as well since the creeps are soon to arrive there. That was a huge strike there by BBC. Very interesting uh, Black King bar first item on Razor. It would, actually, it's easy to it explain. It worked out. It was the yeah, perfect item in this situation. It's, he was sure he would get the BKB before the Lina would get her Agon. Agon. <laughs> yeah, oh, we might have to go here in the mid on the Lina. There's a duel, but ah, now he's triggering it. There's no Mystic Flare, but who needs a Mystic Flare when you have 78, uh, 76 damage already? But there's a Doom now coming out. Do we see another Deny? That's the big question. There is a Shakira to follow up. We need an Ice Path. Ice Path has to come, but it's not hitting Haki. At least Solitude yeah. is caught in there, so they might get the kill on him. Well, they're gonna disjoin this, but we we is from the back in the fight, dealing a ton of damage here, but he's slow. The Demonic Purge is holding him back right now. Plasma Field, well, it's gonna hit something, but in the end, they're gonna make it out. So it's a Lina for a Scarab Mage trade. Still, Haki got damage, and that's the bad news. And he's bad and back in the fight. He's 14 seconds away from a duel, he has 76 extra damage. He's fully healed up, but yep. they're gonna choose to retreat right, right now. Are they gonna rush? I don't know, I mean there's Rosh, there's a big stack of Ancients if they want to, so they have two options to go for, but it seems like Haki, he feels tanky enough, I mean he's level 13, got the plate mail for armor and everything, and he got enough mana for at least one more press to attack, why not going for Roshan? Me, well, he doesn't hit too much actually, for barely 100 damage, because he has no damage stolen, now Levy is coming in, that is also not too much mana, so, Voodoo Restoration, yes, but... In the end, it's gonna be enough for Roshan, but it's gonna be a very slow one. In the meantime, Pedrino is just happily farming away in the dire jungle. I think he's almost done with his Battle Fury now. It's it's pretty good, actually, considering he was on a fry lane and he already had drums. So he's his gonna get is, that. Yeah, it's it's relatively slow, though. Like a 23 minutes uh, Battle Fury, it's, it's okay. Roshan is going down, that should give him even some more gold on top of it, so Battle Fury is done now on Petrino. But it doesn't really matter, because in we the end... We haven't seen him much this game, actually. Yeah, exactly. Like, he was... I don't know, his lane was not super perfect, and consider everything considered, like, he's... Yeah, still having the Battle Fury together. And it's not like he doesn't have anything on top of it. He has drums, a finish stick as well, and face boots on top of it with a Pullman shield. So he got quite some utility items around that as well. His net worth is on 8.7k. That's, uh, no, wait, um, I, I can't read. On 9k. He's actually number two at the moment. So, yeah, he's, he's just doing fine. And now with this, he's actually farming the Ancients right now. Just the, the new Battle Fury is already getting clashed into those poor Ancients with Slide of Fist only. 
there's some indecisiveness for Team Radiant right now. They've been five manning middle for nothing for the past minute or so. Yeah, they stay they together. Playing? They're afraid at the moment that BBC finds initiation. Actually, they might find initiation. We have a smoking here. It's a hockey solitude combination here. Mystic Flare into the duel. And they might find Killer here or someone else. The Shadow Demon. Anyone. Yeah, I think they want to jump on the Shadow Demon. There we go. No defensive disruption. That's kill number one. Wee's joining in there. But oh, he's getting doomed right as the BKB pops. But Nova has to go already go back. Too much damage. At the end, it's a 1 1 trade. At the moment, Haki, where's the Laguna Blade? We still have the Laguna Blade. Where is it coming? There it is. We need another stun. That's the Aegis yeah, already down. Though. Make it still a 1 1 trade. Aegis down. I don't think they can follow up, but let's see. There's another stun. So much damage. He's stunning the macro pyre. Well played, man. Returning some damage. But it's a two for one trade. This is a bad trade for Balkan Bears. Really bad. Doom was used on uh, on Razor though. It didn't even leave a scratch. But unfortunately, the Skyrath dropped very fast back there. And I don't know. We had to retreat probably because of the Doom. Hockey was left there alone, and he ended up dying twice. Yep. This was not a quite use of ages as you want it to be and the doom it's that's the funny part like it looked like the doom was wasted but actually i think the doom was perfect because we didn't get to use his ultimate not even static link up or anything the only thing he really did in that fight was a plasma field right at the beginning but that's about it and now well fwt seems like they found their solo of bold side there's a smoke gang and well, the Rave King wants to find something, but he's the only one who's being smoked up now. Actually, the Shadow Demon is there as well. In the mid, they could find We, or at least force him into another BKB use. This BKB is down to 8 seconds, so it's still long, but well, it's getting step by step. I can't now. wait for Padrina to actually show up and fight. I don't think he's interested to show up and fight right now. He's gonna. I don't know, second item, probably Crystallis. I don't think this is a game where you He has an ultimate it. orb. He's probably going for Lincoln's. Is that the late Lincolns? Or is this... I don't know, it could be a Scotty as well, but... I don't think the Lincolns is necessary in this game, because so far he could avoid the Doom quite successfully, so I don't really see it. But Haki and Levy this time in combination want to go for something. Petrino is pretty close, and we is still in a bit... Oh, they want to go here, Nova! Look at all Ooh. the damage, actually, from two sides of support are pushing it in. Easy going for them. Easy kill, nice damage. We are at 104, and this means also tier 2 tower. There's still a cliff available, but Pacino fishing here for Jindu. Defensive disruption. Now he's stunned under the tower, but whoa, look at this. He's still going down. Oh, is he? Yes, he is, but well, at least Sitzer is doing quite some damage. Malady on him. There's no chance he can pull up in that fight. Killer has all this. V is stealing so much damage, and he's actually successful. Successful stealing all this. They are slowed, but V still receives all the damage. Where's the Laguna fight? They want to go on V. Oh, he's getting. Just forced up the way, BKB on, so much healing by press the attack, and now they turn it around, maybe even dive that with the nice bounces of the casket. Haki, he wants that kill on Sitzro, that's for sure. It's a guaranteed one, well, Light Striker A, but it's not enough damage. Haki even popping the, uh, the Blade Mail, and that means Lina can't really do anything. He has to run out, and yeah, there's just the TP. That so was almost a perfect fight, unless, well, Padrino came, finally came to a fight and died. <laughs> it's a free for one trade. It's it's a huge yeah. blow again against uh, FWT, and I didn't really get the I don't know the pathing they took because the Rave King he saw like oh my god I have static link on me, but he chose to go south alongside his base, making sure that we is definitely getting tons of damage there, and. I don't know, losing his ultimate like this, I think this is a level 2 ultimate, so yeah, we still have to wait 160 seconds, so he's back with the second one. And I mean, this was BBC almost diving their base to tier 4 towers. This is showing that once you get them on a bad foot, pretty much, with such initiation on the Doom, there's, there's no already... way you can stop them. I just noticed we already have an Aghanim on uh, Witch Doctor. And we have a, yeah. actually have 4 staff on a position 5 Skyrath Mage in minute 20... When did he get it? Oh, he Got had it, it around minute ago. 23 already, and the Aghanim Scepter just came out, pretty much. This but it was to be depressing. predicted. I mean, this witch dog, he got the kills. He was, I mean, kills in the laning stage. He got two tower last hits. He got about five minutes solo on the lane. So experience and CS was there. And he was also involved in most of the other fights without taking too much casualties. So this Aghanim Scepter is not a, such a surprise. Right now, FWT, however, they want to push. But oh, look at it. All the damage already in Nova. Defensive disruption coming out really late. But we, he's already going half the winner. all this. Two down. He still got the damage. Oh, oh my yep. god. And the third one is coming through now. There's Cicero and the others. They are already running. Killer. Well, blinking out and real divine, he, well, he doesn't have a TP. That's obviously bad news, but Balkan Bears, 
I think they're just gonna turn it around right now and go for tier 3 tower. This is too much domination that you, I don't know, hold back on the farm. We you were right, already by have... the way. It's a Lincoln's on the Ember. We already have the Ember. So right now we're gonna see some tier 3 dropping very, very fast. Oh no, the ultimate is actually over. But he's gonna have it back up again in 25 seconds. But they don't seem like they need it anyway. They're just chopping through the tier 3 and rats very fast. There's nothing they can do right now. Um, the Radiant team. Nope. Yeah. With, with those two people Do down, they need the Doom at least on one of them right now. Petrino doesn't have the Lincolns, it still has to fly in. I mean, he still needs a part of it. But, no, I, I just don't see them defending unless they really get the first initiation. And right now, all the game I thought like, hey, they should maybe initiate on Petrino. But right now it f feels more like you have to catch Haki. Because Haki is putting up the initiation for BBC. He's just jumping in, duel, and he has a Death Ward and a Mystic Flare in the background waiting exactly. for this to happen. Exactly, he just jumped in five people and decided to duel with no fear about it. That's not something you want to happen in your game when you're against a Legion Commander. If he's that cocky right now... Yep, but it's not, so it's, it's not really happening. He's not going down. Like, so far, even the defensive disruptions, I have to say that. I mean, so far the Shadow Demon was not with the best timing, but oh, let's see. It might have a smoke here on Petrino. Oh, there's the defensive disruption before the Doom comes out. I don't understand. Like, oh. the Shadow Demon just bought them the freedom they needed. Exactly this. If the Doom was out, easy one. But I don't know why he's going for the disruption. That was a bad team communication. Right now, I think his team is, like, bashing them. Like, Shadow Demon, why did you do that? Oh, I'm gonna kill it was you. very unfortunate, the communication right there. Yeah. Right now they have to rotate bottom. The Doom still goes oh, again. Oh, look at the initiation. No That's the first ultimate already going down, but Doom is hopping in here on V, but look at all the damage he's getting. Nova is getting down. Killer is still bouncing those caskets. Haki is going to get the second kill here of the day, and Killer, well, he might die a second time, but right now, okay, they stop it. They're fine, which is two kills. Oh, in the mid, but we already have a goal. Petrino getting that Shadow Demon who had no TP to come in there, and that's four down. No buybacks on them except for Killer, but I don't think he can do anything even if he buys back. And that's a GG call. Well, it comes down to the team just not being pretty much on the same page. We were greedy about it, BBC, I mean, and it worked out. And I apparently don't know. they see each other in Starlight again. <laughs> Where do you think um, the Radiant team went wrong? Do you blame it on the draft? Or... Well, the draft was decent for me, but as the last fight showed, or like the, the fight actually before that, like both of them jumped, the Doom was ready, they could have gotten an easy kill on Petrino, but well, the timing, the co team communication is just not coming out. They are just going for a disruption, which is saving the enemy. And as long as they do such mistakes in a crucial situation where you need kills, it's not gonna happen. But either way, guys, that's it here for a best of two uh, series in the JDL. We casted another game of Balkan Vers and, of course, a new team from the German, I don't know, region, which is surprising for me. But unfortunately, I was not convinced of their today's performance. But let's see. Maybe we at least see some of those players in the future. I'm going to say thank you for tuning in, guys. My name is Heflam Oak. I was casting here with Miss Commander. And, of course, if you want to follow her, it's uh, at Commander Gaming. On Twitter for me, it's of course you can find me everywhere on Hefla TV. The vods will be up in about an hour. And of course, if you want more Dota, in about 30 minutes on Hitbox HP One channel, we have the last game of today. I think it's Battle of Central Europe, and I even forgot who is playing, but I'm gonna find that out before I tune. Ah, uh, yeah, it's actually a Swedish duel today: House of Gamers versus Lions. Lions with a new draft, with a new uh, new draft, I say, new roster. So that's def definitely gonna be interesting, and that's. Everything for now. Bye-bye. Goodbye.